So let's see how to solve quadratic equations using factorization method. Okay? Solve x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. All right. Now we want to do this using factorization method. What you do is to multiply the coefficient of with that of the constant. So we have 1 times minus 2, which is minus 2. All right? Now, what you do now is to find the factors of minus 2 so that when you multiply the 2, you get minus 2. And when you add, you will get the coefficient of uh, x, which is minus 1. All right? Now, the factors of minus 2 that you multiply to get minus 2 is minus 1 and uh, 2. Minus 1 times 2 is uh, minus 2. Also, minus 2 times 1 times 1 is also minus 2. Now, but you add these two. Minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1. And that is not the coefficient of uh, x. Coefficient of x is uh, minus 1. Now, minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1. Beautiful. So this is the right choice. So we have x squared minus 1 minus 2 is now, we'll write it as x squared minus 2x plus x. Okay, that will take care of the minus x. All right, then minus 2 equal to 0. Good. So we begin our factorization. x, we have, yes, we have x into x minus 2, all right, plus x minus 2, 1, 1 into x minus 2 equal to 0, okay? So for the factorization, we have x minus 2 is common, so we have x minus 2 into what is left is x, x plus 1 equal to zero. Very good. Now we have product of two numbers, two real numbers equal to zero. That means either x minus two, either x minus two is equal to zero or x plus one is equal to zero. So this gives us x, x minus two equal to zero. So S minus 2 equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 2. Or s plus 1 equal to 0 implies that x is equal to minus 1. Beautiful. Now let's look at problem 2. Four x squared minus four x minus eight equal to zero. Now, looking at this carefully, observe that you can factor out four. That four is common to those terms. So factor it out. You have four into x squared minus x minus two equal to zero. All right. Now divide both sides by four. And you are back. You are back. Divide by 4. And you have x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay? Observe that this is exactly what we solved before. Okay? So we can solve that. Now, number 3. 6x squared plus 13x plus 6 equal to 0. Beautiful. Now, here, the coefficient of x squared is equal to 6. It's not equal to 1 like the other one. So let's see what happens. 
use that coefficient of s squared to multiply the constant term, you will have 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Now, you look for the factors of 36. Two factors of 36, that when you multiply that, you get 36. And when you add, you will get 13 coefficient of x. All right? Now, 36, you can do the elementary thing. Just put 36 and begin to divide. 36, okay, divide. 2 divide 36, you have 18. 2 divide this, you have 9. 3 divide this, you have 3. 3 divide this, you have 1. Okay, now observe that 36 is equal to 36 times 1. Is equal to 2 times 18. It is equal to 4 times 9. It's equal to 3 times 12. Okay? It's equal to 6 times 6. All right. Now, let's look at this. Let us add these things and see what it gives us. Now, 36 plus 1 is uh, 37. Now... 36 plus 1 is 37. 2 plus 18 is 20. 4 plus 9 is 13. 3 plus 12 is 15. 6 plus 6 is 12. All right. Observe that 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. And that is the coefficient of... Uh, x okay so that gives us what we want so we have 6x squared plus for 13x we have 4x plus 9x plus 6 equal to 0 all right so we factorize 3x 2x is common so we have 2x is common we have 2x into 3x plus 2 plus 3 is common there. So we have 3 into 3x plus 2 equal to 0. All right. So 3x plus 2 is common. We have 3x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 equal to zero all right so we have product of two real numbers equal to zero which implies that either 3x plus 2 is equal to zero or 2x plus 3 is equal to zero okay now 3x plus 2 equal to zero implies that 3x Three x is equal to minus two. Dividing both sides with the coefficient of x, we have that x is equal to minus two over three. Beautiful. Now, two x plus three equal to zero implies that two x is equal to minus three. Dividing both sides with the coefficient of x, we have that uh, x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Okay, this is improper fraction, so you can write it as a uh, minus 1, minus 1 whole number, 1 over 2. Beautiful, and we are done. All right. So, with this, I believe that any quadratic equation given to you that is factorizable, you can use both techniques and factorize them. All right. Note that not all, not all quadratic equations are factorizable, okay? In that case, we employ the method of completing of square, which eventually gives you the formula method. So with the formula method, you can solve any one. All right. So I'm going to discuss this method later thank you for watching remember to subscribe if you have not done so 
thumb up, share, like. Okay, mathematics is for everybody. Share. All right. And we pray for a greater mathematical experience. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye.